G'day mate, welcome back to Factoria with me, Jedi. First thing we want to do is we want to grab those low density structures, which are where again? Yeah. I want to grab these low density structures and loop them back upon themselves. And we want to go shove these directly into... Oh, uh, where's that build? Right there. Into our fusion reactors. Uh, that's uncompressed. Yeah, that's uncompressed. Uh, and priority output left. Cool. So I'll take whatever excess that that build down the south does and shove them into portable fusion reactors, which is limited by blue circuit, which is limited by... Holy crap. Uh... I think it's limited by the speed we can load them into the machine. Which obviously means I need another belt's worth. Uh, hi rockets. Uh, how many is in here? 70, 69, okay. If I turn that off, and I pick up those, and I pick up those. Can I slide that forward another tile please? No, just one. Uh, we're going to go with a bit of belt. And... Technically, that's keeping up. And yes, we're running low density structures up here to then loop them back upon themselves and run them in here. Sure. Sure. Whatever floats your boat, as long as it works, uh, technically it's not a loop because it terminates in a building. If I took that and put that back under the belt, that would be a loop. But, um, okay, hopefully that's fixed that problem. All right. So, with that problem possibly fixed... Oh, hang on. i got to run along here because I put in a new path. New path. Uh, trees and rocks only. Go away. That failed. Go away. Okay, so... <sighs> has to be done. Map view. No, map view. Yes, much better. Okay, bots will fly over here shortly and lay down a thousand pieces of concrete. So we've upgraded all these. Uh, we want to go to our magical, mystical upgrade planner. And on principle, I think I'm going to have issues. I think we're going to max the output on our red circuits. Uh, oh boy. Uh, turns out you have no power. That's an active provider chest that's been sitting there, obviously, for a long time. Full of steel furnaces. Okay. That's a coal belt going to nowhere. Uh, I definitely want to turn that back on. Okay, yeah, we're going to start hitting the max throughput of a lot of things if we start upgrading these. Uh... Like each one of these red circuit builds outputs 25? Maybe we won't. Uh, where is that upgrade planner? So as an experiment, we'll start with the very first one like so. Just same story as before, purple belt right the way through. All the inputs purple, all the outputs purple, all the beacons get upgraded. Uh... This one, blue circuits, I don't think are going to be an issue. I, I hope aren't going to be an issue. I probably should have started at the bottom red circuit and went my way up. It's fine. It's fine. We'll start here. Uh, yeah, I might have given the bots a few tasks to do beforehand. On a side note, you're down to just 100 speed modules. 
Yes, you're going to have a green circuit problem going into the build. Hang on. How many green circuits do you guys output? 70. That is a Mark II belt. And we're also splitting off to halfway in. No, green circuits are making them all the way, and red circuits are doing the same, possibly. Yeah, they're all running. Okay, no, we should be fine. All right, we got one build upgraded. So you now output 48 red circuits, which we're then joining under half a belt, which is only going to run 38-ish items on half a belt. But, apart from that, you're good to go. Okay, so we're going to put in problems in that, uh, which means going off that information, we can say all the red circuits should be fine to upgrade. Uh, I'm going to put problems in these, so we just use less materials. And I'm gonna go with that red circuit and I'm gonna upgrade that one. And same story, I'm gonna put productivity in sixes in those. Green circuits are already run uh, blue circuits are already running on prod sixes, so I can't do any upgrades there. We can do that set. And same story. I'm gonna upgrade those. Okay. With that much done need to go back to our first build that we've already upgraded. Yep, one of these. And see what this does to my input belts. So my input belts are 4141. That's going to be a problem. Uh, it also means that my plastic now needs to be... It's split twice. So my plastic needs to be 80. That's going to be a problem. My green circuits need to be 80. That's going to be a problem for one belt, but we have multiple belts we can probably use. So I need to upgrade. Oh, and what was my copper? Uh, my copper is 31, and that's split two ways. Yes, so if my copper's coming up here and being split twice, although you're putting out a whole heap of copper that I don't need. Hang on, let's go. You two go away. Uh, let's try and get a closer ratio. So, uh, you're making 120, we only need you to input, you're making 122, we only need you to, uh, output 82. So we'll just cut these back, bit by bit, we're looking for 82-ish, 99, uh, 75. Okay. So I have to put that one back. And then we're going to run over there. And now we're only, only need 18 copper. Because of the increase in productivity module. Uh, which is double, which is 36. You output 44. So the, uh, copper's actually fine as is. Uh, it does mean I need to have those beacons missing those beacons missing and those beacons missing so i have to cut the end a little bit odd shaped because i need this beacon to affect both of these but then be missing on the next one so we're just gonna do a quick trimmage uh so it's all the back row plus that one and that one all the back row plus that one and that one and we oh 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 that seems overdue okay this is gonna ruin everything you are now going to output a hundred and eight all by yourself oh boy <clears throat> Oh, and one of the machines was still missing. Uh, 117. For 99 in, 99 out. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 
That's a special type of overkill. I, I cannot get that out of this build unless we go over to stacked recipes. Do we go over to stacked recipes? That's really what it, what it boils down to. Do I take the time and the investment and swap over this whole build to stacked recipes? Or do I just leave it as is tinkering along slowly making prod sixes? So, we know from this build that this is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight total miners to output our super duper speed sixes. It does require a whole bunch of speed sixes we don't have. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, to do not many prod sixes per second. We're obviously using the all slower than what we'd be using it over here. Because we're still using prob mod threes. Uh, that failed. Uh, where do you go? You go there and there. So we're using prob mod threes. So there's no big overall impact there. Where are you down to? You're down to just a handful of speed sixes missing. Um, so yeah, we're still using product productivity module three, so there's not going to be massive differences in total amount of ore used. It just uses it way more efficiently. Okay, do I have this a stacked recipe? Isn't it? Yes, but this is running on the old beacons as well. So really, I need. I need a hybrid. I need this on the new beacons. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to literally grab this. I'm going to go through these builds. I'm going to upgrade your beacons. No, we're going to keep going from the bottom up. Okay. So, we upgraded all the red circuits. Yup. Uh, we didn't do this red circuit build. So we'll do that red circuit build. We're going to have to do all the plastic. Uh, more plastic, more plastic, more plastic more plastic. We're also going to have to do all the plastic going south. So we'll get all these upgraded to purple belt as well. Which means I have to do the beacons down here. Because I'm going to need these to output faster. Uh, which means hopefully I don't have any problems with petroleum. Um, just a quick recap, because I have many, many complaints in the comments about how I'd set up this whole system. So, petroleum from the refineries gets put into this tank. Uh, heavy gets cracked. Light, uh, heavy gets cracked in light oil. Light oil gets cracked into petroleum, which also gets pumped in this same tank. The way fluids work is 50% of what's in this fluid box being a single item that has fluid in it can transfer to any other adjacent fluid box per tick. So in the case of this one, because it has 100,000 oil in it, 50% of that, being 50k, can transfer into this one every single tick. On top of that, I have this uh, lot of cracking is also getting put into this tank with a pump. And then this tank is, this pump is physically forcing 24,000 uh, 24, oil per second. Which is, I don't know. Uh, where's a real calculator? 24,000, right? Yes, uh, divided by 60, which is 400 fluid per tick. 
into this tank. Which sounds like a lot, except this one's moving 50,000 into this tank. Potentially. Potentially. It does load balance between the two. So you're not guaranteed there's 50,000, but there's potentially 50,000. But the point is, this one now has currently 78,000. Oh, the, the one thing a pump does do is it does give a direction. So it's like a valve as well. It forces it only to go in one direction. So this one has 77,000 oil in it, uh, petroleum in it every tick half of that is flowing to that one so i have seventy-seven thousand. half it's moving into this one being like you know thirty-three thousand, which is keeping this one full at the same time i am pumping out of this one into that one purely because i want to have the pressure and hopefully fill this one up i don't think this is going to fill up i don't think it it was full but i think with us upgrading everything and having more output and me trying to get petroleum You're short on coal. Didn't see that coming. Uh, actually, we're we're better off to do that. Does that fix the problem? Probably not, because this is blue belt, which we're merging together to make a purple belt. Uh, and two blues move 45, one purple moves 70 odds, so 75. So yeah, it's probably worth going purple all the way back to down there, which should give me enough throughput that yeah, we've now got these guys going way better than they were before. Um, so this is how I've set it up. It does work. It did require me to get a decent amount of liquid in this tank before it started all working perfectly. But as you can see, the plastic belts have been full forever and are running at least the speed that we needed, which was like 60, um, or more likely they're running way faster than that because I have started upgrading these. Uh, okay, so we didn't need to upgrade copper, but I'm gonna do it anyway. which means I need to upgrade all the inputs all the way down to there. Uh, which means I need to do something about blue circuits. All right, if we get blue circuits upgraded we can then look at the maths here. And then see what we have to do. Because the idea is this red circuit build feeds these blue circuits and then only passes the excess up. Now why I have red circuits to feed blue circuits to feed red circuits to feed Oh, this is designed to just feed this. But then this one I have once, twice the size to feed. Yeah. Like, I, I, I never understood this. I don't know why it happened. I'm assuming I fell asleep somewhere between building the second, the first one, and then blueprinting it up one more, and I decided to put in two lots of red circuits. Um, or we had a little bit of a red circuit shortage, so I decided to bring them there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, duplicating the whole build was done off camera, so I don't even have my own videos I can go back and look at and go, What were you doing, JD? What were you doing? What exactly was running through your head when you decided to do this? Uh, let's get rid of all those. Let's get rid of those, because we're definitely... We're not out of purple uh, undergrounds. We are out of the bacons. Okay, maybe we just... Uh... Go for a bit of a jaunt and go find a train full of bacons. Uh, I can step through there. Oh. Okay. I've been slowly looking at the pumps go down in pressure, so obviously nuclear is working less hard. And then we've just spent the last two episodes putting down nothing but Mark III beacons. Yeah. Okay. I want all of those, please. 
I was gonna drink. Stop. Maybe we need an express highway through the through the nuclear as well, or all the way over to this build from from the train tracks. All those can go. Kid, my inventory is so full. You have no idea. Yeah, the, the quickie guys dump stuff down. Uh, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay. Wow. <sighs> okay. All right. So we're just going to assume that we can feed at full speed. Uh, wrong one. I want that one. Uh, yeah, about that. Okay, so we're just going to assume that we can feed at full speed, and therefore we'll be putting out at least a purple belt of blue seconds. Uh, this... Technically... Is already running as fast as possible. And basically I'd have to double it what it really falls down to. I'd have to double the build to go from 36 blue circuits to 70 odd blue circuits. And then I'd have belts like this one, which I probably couldn't feed. I'd have to run a dedicated green belt with a dedicated red belt. Well, a dedicated belt of green circuits and a dedicated belt of red circuits. Okay. We're going to upgrade everything in here in principle. And I'm also going to set you to do red to purple, it turns out. With red to purple. With red to purple. Oh, wrong one. That one. Upgrade that belt as well. Alright. I need to run up to somewhere that doesn't have awesome beacons and go... Da -da. Cool. And... Crap. Alright. Dump a heap of them. Okay. All right, hang on. You're on purple belt. You're on purple belt. You're on purple belt. You're on purple belt. No, there's bits missing. You're on purple belt. You're on purple belt. You're on purple belt. You're all completely on purple belt. It definitely looks like this lane here is suffering. Uh, now, half these machines don't run because I physically can't get the materials out fast enough. Um, okay, what I want to do so I want to put one of those there. I want to filter out red circuits on the right hand lane and grab a purple underground and go to here. Does that have the intention I, I want? No. No, I need to lane switch it somewhere along the line. Um, yes. Okay. 
that's a semi-important power pole. Right, you can all slide over a tile. That gains me a tile. A tile. Uh, I want you to move... Do that? No. Oh. <coughs> no, that technically works. Okay. So if I did this wiggly wobbly all the way through. That would get me a full purple belt out of one build. Which is like heaps. It's 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 a massive amount. It doesn't look clean or neat. I have to say that. In fact it looks really bad. But it works. And then that becomes the question. Do I care if it works? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. As long as it works, I don't really care. Okay. So. There is so many undergrounds going in so many different directions. All right. I'm going to copy that because that is the build part that works. All right. So, that means you go away, you go away, you go away. You go away, and you go away. And what else had to go away? Just that belt piece there, and that belt piece there. So, if I paste that in place, and I paste that in place... I can now bring you out short and have why for you not work now? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so now I have a ridiculous amount of red circuits, which we need to feed half a belt, and in theory we make 117. Really? It doesn't look like 117. That's running, that's running, that's running, that's running, that's running. That's running, that's running, and that's running. Although you feel like you're running slow. Why are you running slow? Oh, because that didn't get done? Or can I not... Oh, I didn't look. Can I not get the copper cable I need onto the belts? Ah, uh, no, I can't. I cannot. Can I? Okay, if I put that there and I go... Okay, that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, let's output. Oh, 
can't have you output that way. So you have to output. <sighs> Alright. If you output to there. You output... You output to there, uh, which means this one outputs to there. This copper cable, copper cable, copper cable, running into the existing copper cable. Right, that looks better. It still doesn't look like it's the numbers we need. Uh, I think maybe it's a time to go from you to you. Or it's time for a full rebuild. I actually feel like it's time for a full rebuild. But I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to not rip it all up. Uh, are they automated? I'm going to go with yes. Yes, they are. Is this a plastic in problem? Plastic... It's definitely a plastic green circuit problem. Uh, because your designer used way more than half a... Actually, the other one's not running. Yeah, you need two belts. Um... Okay, look, I can max out one build, feed that one build into there. Which will give me ample red circuits to go here... And wherever else leftovers go. Uh, if we've upgraded all of that to purple belt, which we have. Uh, what was the modification I was doing for the... What was the first modification I was doing? Let's start with the first modification. We're going to forget all the fancy stuff. Just that. Okay, so I need to remove that, that, all of that, I believe... Uh, and that. Uh, paste that there. Paste that there. Uh, okay. You are red circuits from lower down. Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're going to have belts in, our, in the way of our belts. Okay. We can then bring you sideways and into there. We should top that belt up. Uh, you've had a wiggly wobbly. You need a wiggly wobbly as well. Uh, what was the other one had to be deleted? That one. Which means you're going to have to come under there. And you're going to have to go into... That. Alright. What have I done wrong with this build? Uh, too many of them things. Uh, too many of them things? Okay, that one's running again, which is going to output to this belt. You're outputting to that belt. Uh, you're running about as fast as you can. As are you, as are you. Uh, upgrade. Whatever you see there, and whatever you see there, and actually all of that needs to be upgraded. All of that has to be upgraded. Oh, oh, the top machines are just assembler threes. I didn't even realize. 
Uh, some of these are just assembler threes. They can go up as well. Okay, that has to be upgraded. That has to be upgraded. That has to be upgraded. These guys have to be upgraded. These guys were upgraded. Okay. Uh, I need to cut off the back row plus you and you. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. I am accidentally upgrading inserters here, there, and everywhere, but that's fine. There's no such thing as an inserter that moves too quickly. Okay. Oh, these are all the wrong speed assembler. Okay, they all get upgraded. Uh, we need to chop that out, and that out. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that one too. And remove that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, if we put that, plus that, plus that, plus that, Actually, that's so much easier. Okay. What's your issue? Uh, your only issue might be green circuits and plastic in faster. But that's okay. That seems to be semi-sorted. Uh, we're going to put one of those there. We're going to toss you in there. You in there. That failed. Oh, that double failed. Ah. Uh, so hang on. This one goes up to here. And this goes into there, into there, into there. Okay, green circuits to blue circuits should be done. Upgrade every one of those assembly machines. Watch trim that out, plus that out, and that out. And that out. Also, want to come to what machine is it? It's this row. Remove that, remove that, remove that, and remove that. Paste, paste. Paste and paste. Oh boy. Yeah, confirm your paste is paste before you. <sighs> um, one of them with one of them and. We're just going to say copper cable. Uh, and one of them. And that one and that one. Red circuits, red circuits, red circuits, red circuits. Uh, you, sir, would also, in th theory, Oh, damn you, upgrade planner. Tried to belt braid. Okay. So, where are we up to? Uh, okay. That goes in there. That goes in there. That can do a much bigger jump across. Uh, that. Well, 
else have I built? What's going up to? Uh... Oh, really? No. Here? I don't mind unintentional belt braiding. Uh, I like it even better when I get all the belts going the right way. Um, <laughs> nope. Um, I guess I could whoop. Plug that into there, and I guess I could plug that into. Oh crap! You're already being used. Uh, there. Somebody broke something. I'm hoping you guys can't hit the carol. I'm going off in the background. Okay. Ah, red circuits missing. Can I get underground through to there? Uh, okay. That's where we're going to leave it for this episode. We've done some upgrades. I think I need to have this system just stabilized for a minute. Um, um, oh, and rockets. Crap. 19 rockets. Um... It was 19, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah, we ended at 3.30. So, um... <sighs> Arta Stansky? Uh, James Skilbeck? Uh, Eric Caster? Uh, Lars Reich... Reich Falk? Reich Falk? Reich Falk. Uh, 3.34, uh, Sensky, uh, the song for you one, um, the song for you, you didn't need the one on the end, it's just ruined it, uh, Bjorn Valder's mine, uh, Kevin Michael, uh, and Angel, uh, Sam Evans, uh, Thomas Br uh, Britt, Britt, Breavers? Breavers. Breavers. Uh, um, Morogan? Moro? Magna? Magna? Okay. Uh, Gomez. Uh, Nikki Rachel? No, hang on. That's 34. That's 23. Uh, no. Special Mike. Uh, Radar. Philosopher Phil. The Link Game. It's 48. Oh boy. Close. Open. 48. 48. 48. I really wish you had some sort of order. 348. 3. 0 2s. They're 1s. That's 40s. Does that make sense? Hang on. Three, seven, eight. Seven, nine. Oh, I've already done them. No, no, I haven't. I don't know where these last ones have gone. 346, 347, 348. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'm going to stop, and I'm going to look through this list very carefully to try and find out where 348 and 350 have disappeared to. Crap, and 351 now. 321. Oh, and, and the list is definitely not complete, because there's actually a special dialogue that pops up when the list is complete. And we're far from complete. So, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, I do hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you to everybody who's clicked the subscribe button. Your intergalactic space uh, sub X spaceship is on its way. It shall be delivered shortly, depending on intergalactic shipping times. Uh, with that said, yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to see how these builds stabilize and see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we're making more productivity sixes. Um, at the same time, technically, the fact that this is no longer flashing at us down here means this has completed all its speed sixes and I think it's fully upgraded and running at full speed which means we need to come down here and do some investigations I think because it doesn't look like here we're not getting enough s not getting enough oh maybe we are you're out of green circuits so need to do some tweaking down here possibly uh also looks like red circuits are uh, no actually it looks like maybe they're giving up i don't know we'll play with that next episode also need to find these missing numbers so with all that said thank you guys so much for watching do hope you're enjoying i'll see you guys in the next episode all right bye